is Ray Elgin. I'm one of the elders at the Church of South Mountain. And today, again, I would like to continue our devotion time and speaking on the topic of spiritual fruitfulness. And again, my passage of scripture that we'll, uh, we'll use today again is Galatians 5, 22 and 23. So let me read these verses and, and then we'll get into the study. Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 through 23. The Bible says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, and goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, and against such things there is no law. So today, again, as we begin this, this devotion time, I was reminding that we're going to spend a few times spe speaking specifically on this, the specific parts of spiritual fruit. And today, I'd like to talk about this fruit of peace and then this fruit of patience. So let's begin with the fruit of peace. What is peace? Peace says this contentment, unity between people. What is this peace? Well, peace is a state of assurance, lack of fear, and a sense of contentment. It's a fellowship. It's a harmony. It's a unity between individuals. Peace is freedom from worry, freedom from disturbance, or even freedom from oppressive thoughts. Let me ask you, is this peace exhibited in your life today? Some, some of us may say that, oh, I have the peace of God, but let me ask you a question. Do you have peace with God? You may say, I'm not sure if, if I have a peace with God. It's maybe you might not have given your life to Christ, so he would, he would pour that peace into your heart. If there's a wrestling in your being with the, your, the flesh and the spirit, it, there never seems to be a peace within you. But look at your life and see if you have given your life to Christ, and he will pour that peace into your heart. And that peace that surpasses all comprehension, and the, one of the verses says, it will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Let's take a look at some scripture in the Bible that talks about peace. First, let's begin with the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 6 and 7. It says, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. There will be no end to the increase of his government or of peace. The Bible goes on to say in Romans chapter 14, verse 19, the Bible says, So then we pursue the things which make for peace and building up of one another. The Bible goes on to say in 1 Corinthians 14, 33, it says, For God is not a God of confusion, but a God of peace. And uh, as in all this, all the churches of the saints. So God does not present any confusion. He's not gray in any area. It, he's, he's firm in what he says. Another verse in the Bible talks about that we're all familiar with is the uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. And I think we're all familiar with this verse. But it's pretty clear. It says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer supplication with thanksgiving let your request be known to god and the peace of god which surpasses all comprehension will guard your hearts and minds in christ jesus and the peace he's speaking about is an inner peace there's an inner peace in your soul that you're resting in christ that's what guards our hearts and minds in christ jesus so my prayer is that this peace is in your heart if it's not, it just seems to be a, an unsettling in your spirit. Ask God to save you, recognizing your sin and needing a Savior. So I pray for you that this peace is in your heart. Now let's take a look at the next piece of fruit in, in the verse there. It's the fruit of patience. And patience says, slow to speak and slow to anger. So what is, what is this patience that it's talking about? Patience is a slowness in avenging others 
It's a quality of restraint that prevents believers from speaking or acting hastily in the face of disagreements or opposition or even persecution. Patience is bearing pain or problems without complaining. Did you hear that last couple words without complaining? This fruit of patience is probably one of the ones that we all struggle with the most. But now as we pray and ask God for patience, we've got to know that when we ask God for this patience, he will put us in situations that will test our patience. But that's a good thing because it produces endurance in our life. So as we go through these trials and, and tribulations or whatever that's testing our patience, Again, we're growing in, in this thing called patience, but it produces endurance in our lives. So when we go through something again and again, as we grow, the, our patience is is not as tested. We're, we're, we're able to endure. We're able to persevere through such things that test our patience. Another verse that we can look at is Romans chapter 5. And it says, not only this, but we also exalt in our tribulation knowing that tribulations bring about perseverance. And this is that word again. As we learn patience, as we gain patience in our life, it produces perseverance that we may endure the situation that we're in. Another word for perseverance is the word patience. So you can put the word patience in there as the verse says, knowing that tribulation brings about patience. We can look at another verse in Proverbs chapter 15, verse 19. This is pretty clear here. It says, a hot-tempered man stirs up strife, but the slow to anger calms dispute. And another verse is, is really convicting. It's 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 14. And it says, we urge you, brethren, admonish the unruly, Encourage the faint-hearted, help the weak. And it goes on to say, be patient with everyone. Did you hear those words? We're to be patient with everyone. This fruit of patience is to be exhibited in our life in whatever situations we're in that's challenging us, our patience. But we have to be patient with everyone. Okay. And again, patience is slow to speak and slow to anger. So let me ask you, how is your patience today? And my prayer is for you all, and just recognize we need the Holy Spirit's help with this in these prayers. So as we pray and look to God for this peace and grow in Christ for patience, we need to come to God and ask him to save us, to put that peace in our heart, to ask him to just to open your eyes and heart to this patience in peace, which is the fruit of the spirit that our life should be exhibiting. So let me pray for us today as we close. Father, thank you for the opportunity to, again, explain the fruit of the spirit, which is so needed in our lives as Christians, which is motivated by love. So I pray that we would all exhibit these fruit in our lives will be a witness for those that don't know you to be to curious, to be asked about what Christ has done in our lives. So I pray that your spirit would be with each of us tonight. And I thank you for your loving and grace. And I pray these things in Christ's name. Amen.